Hello and welcome to the MMORPG Features of the Week for June 2nd, 2013. I'm your host, Bill Murphy, and these are the top five exclusive articles from MMORPG.com for the week that was. Let's get started. Sony Online Entertainment's and Rune Waker's Dragon's Prophet entered its North American open beta earlier this week, and the game is already generating a lot of buzz on our forums as well as across the MMO blogosphere. I've spent some time this past week in the game and share my early impressions on the title before we begin our Review in Progress series next week. Hop on over and see if my first impressions, including the fact that there's too many hot pants on all the men, uh, match your own. Neverwinter is one of the first blockbuster titles to arrive in 2013, and while technically in open beta, we give the game one of its first scores from press outlets around the world. Why? Well, because when you start taking people's money for a product, you can't hide behind the veil of open beta and expect people not to notice. The game is launched, people. Whether Perfect World's marketing would like you to believe it or not. And for that reason, we hope you enjoy and take heed of our review. Earlier this week, gamers were shocked at the news that Blizzard has reduced its team charged with developing Project Titan, the next-gen MMO that's been in production for several years. Many have been looking forward to finally learning more about the enigmatic game at this year's BlizzCon, but Blizzard went ahead and pressed the reset button to start over. Alas, we won't be hearing anything at BlizzCon most likely this year. Mike Bitten takes a look at the news and speculates about why the decision was made. Hint, he's probably right. Hop on over and take a look to see if you agree. And during a recent E3 preview event, that's right, a preview before the previews that we'll see at E3 during the previews, Susie Ford, an admitted casual follower of the Elder Scrolls series, managed to spend some tons of time in and around the Elder Scrolls online location of Daggerfall, a place familiar to fans of the series. She has written a lengthy preview of what players can expect to find in Daggerfall itself and in the larger Elder Scrolls online environments, and gives E3 attendees a sneak peek at the latest demo in our exclusive preview. And last but not least, the list debuts with a terrific series of games that most MMO players are dying to get their hands on at some point this year. Archage? Yes, please. Wildstar? Sure. I go ahead and give my top five choices on the games that 2013 hopes to offer us, but what's the number one? Well, you'll just have to watch the video and read the article to find out. See if you agree, disagree, let us know. Put me at the stake. I don't care. Do whatever you want. That does it for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch at MMORPGcom without the dot. You can also find me on Twitter at the Bill Murphy if you're into that sort of dirty thing. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.